the memory palace technique. The memory palace technique is also known as the method of Loki. The memory palace technique is based on the fact that we're good at remembering places we know. A memory palace is therefore a metaphor for a place that we know very well or a route that we know very well. The memory palace technique is very good for learning abstract information and what I mean by abstract information is information that's difficult to link to each other and that's very common in medical and pharmacy fields. This technique is very useful and is known to be the pillars that hold abstract information together. Right now, it may be very difficult to visualize what I'm talking about, but once we start to go through it in more detail, you'll understand where I'm coming from. In order to do this, I'm going to use an example of my own, and you can see if you can create your own memory palace and remember these facts. So step one is picking a place you know or a route you know. So think of the route that you take for work every day, for example, or on the way to university or pick your bedroom because you know that room very well. Step two, now plan out the entire route. For example, the route of you walking into your bedroom or the route you take on the way to work. Step three, now think of a list of facts that you want to memorize. For example, the causes of a certain condition. Step four, this process is known as tagging. So now tag that fact to a particular memory or a particular place in that room or on that route on the way to work. And step five, exaggerate this mnemonic. And this will allow you to remember it easier. So let me use my example and let's see if it works. I'm going to use my bedroom because it's a place that I'm very familiar with. So let's say I want to learn four causes of amnesia, memory loss. The four places I'm going to pick for my bedroom are going to be the bed, the shelf, the window, as well as the drawer. And these are four prominent aspects of my room that I'll be able to remember. Now I want to start tagging these memories to the certain aspects of the room. So let's start doing that. Let's first walk into my room and the first thing we see is the bed. I'm going to tag the memory of sleep deprivation associated with the bed. I'm then going to associate minor head trauma with the shelf because if I'm not careful, I'll knock my head. I'm then going to imagine that the windows open in my room and smoke from the neighbor's barbecue is moving into my room. And this is where smoking is going to be tagged as a memory. And the final place in my room is the drawer and the drawer is where I keep my medication and medication can be a cause of memory loss. So let's go through these four aspects. We've got the bed, the shelf, the windows and the drawer. And let's see if you remember those four aspects because of this mini memory palace that you've created. For me, it was a great way to associate abstract information with these different places within the room and I was able to remember this. Memory palaces take a lot of time to make, but once you've made this memory palace, it's very easy to recall that information later on for an examination. Try making your own memory palace with causes of a particular condition, for example, and then you can work your way up to more complex memory palaces. This can be very useful for holding together facts or causes of condition that don't particularly link together very well. And that, in summary, is the memory palace technique.